Hi guys, Sport Tutor here and my name is Anil Deshpande. Welcome to the third video in the series of building location aware apps. In the previous videos, we have gone through all the theoretical aspects of what are all the APIs that you would need to get started with writing an Android application which works with the location. In this video, we will finally get down to some serious coding. And as I had told you, you have to declare the permissions. As you can see it here in the manifest file, we have access find location and access course location. After this, we have to add the appropriate Gradle dependencies to work with appropriate APIs because fuse location client, location callbacks, all those things are part of the Google Play services. They have this dependency. So we have to add that particular library to our Android project. So you can see that in the Gradle dependency file, I have added this particular line. In the applications Gradle file, I have added the class path for the Google Play services. So once both of these are done, it's time to write the code. Let me show you the UI which you have already seen in the previous video. So you can see that I have these two buttons that is button get location and button button stop location. So when I click button get location, I am going to invoke a method called as start getting location. Right now it contains some code which is basically doing the task of getting the appropriate permissions, runtime permissions in Android application. Location permissions are dangerous permissions. We have to do this work of getting the user permission at the runtime. If you are not familiar with it, I suggest you go through the runtime permissions tutorials that I already have on code tutor the other part is stop location button so once again we have a button stop location and on click of that i am invoking stop location request and once again as of now nothing is there so right now it is empty let's get started as you can see here i have these instance variables that is future location provider client and then you have a location request and location callbacks and then the location which will be actually holding the location so let's get started we have to initialize location client for that you have this thing called as location services dot get fused location client and pass the activity so in this case it is this and then you have to initialize the location request so location request is equal to location request dot create that should get you the location request but then you have to set the quality of service so location request dot set priority you can have various priorities like priority balanced power accuracy high accuracy low power no power you can go for priority high accuracy and then you can go for location request dot set interval and i am going to set a interval of say around five seconds update interval is of around five seconds which is 5000 milliseconds and then i have to initialize the location callback so location callback is equal to new location callback inside that i have to implement on location availability and on location result as of now i don't want to do anything uh, major here if location availability dot is location available if location is available i will probably just log something so i will log here location is available and else is location is unavailable and then in case if the result is there i will just log the location result is available so with that we have basically initialized all the apis that we want to use in our code but we have not yet actually started the logic of getting the location or that should happen when you click on the get location button and right now we will be writing the code inside the if block that should only get triggered if you have the proper permissions so what i will do is location provider client dot request location updates as you can see here uh, there are various overloaded methods but the one that i would be interested in is a method that takes location request location callback and the looper as the arguments you will get to know why i am using this pass the request instance that you created earlier the next part is the location callback once again we have a location callback instance that we created a moment back and then where do you want these location updates to come do you want in the main thread or you have a separate thread where this callback need to come so in this case it is just a main activity and i want the callback to come on the main thread so for 
that i will be using main activity dot this dot get main looper so that should give you the reason why i used this particular method and then location client dot get last location so this will try to get the last known location on the device and to do that it interacts with google play services and then you have callbacks so add on success listener and in the same way you can also set a on failure listener so it would be good to set the on failure listener also because probably you want to do something if you don't have the location so on failure listener inside this on success you basically have the location it's not location it is current location and after that you have to basically set both the longitude and latitude labels so that should give you location and on failure in this case i just want to log that some error happened location requests are highly resource intensive work and if you just keep them on forever and if you are not careful about them it will basically drain the battery so the good idea is you should stop the location requests at some point in time in your application so one idea is as of now as per this particular application it should stop the location request when you click on the stop button so inside this particular stop location request we will have to write the code to stop the location request that is pretty easy to do all you have to do is location provider client dot remove location updates and whatever the callback that you had set to get the updates that you have to pass as the argument you can also stop this particular location request on destroy so in case if you forget to click on the stop button on destroy of the activity you basically should stop the location request we are basically done with whatever the code that we had to write so let's run this so pay attention to what happens in the log cat and when i click on get location it basically asks for the permission so it is a runtime permission and i have to provide the permission so once that is done we should get the location i am not sure why we are not getting the location okay i think the problem is on permission result that is once we have the permission we should automatically start getting the location so i think that should fix the problem so let me go back here uninstall and once again start it from the scratch get location allow and as you can see here location result is available so since this is an emulator uh, you are seeing whatever the location that is being emulated if you have a real device you will get to see the actual location of the device so that's it about in this particular video and we will explore location based applications in a further more detail in the next video so stay tuned that brings us to the end of this particular video don't forget to like comment share the video and subscribe to the channel take care bye